hey guys welcome back so guys in this video we are going to do edit and update the data in laravel okay that about us crud we are going to complete with the editing part okay and updating the data so guys as simple we have uh, on the about us in previous video we have seen how to fetch the data and uh, in first video add the data okay so guys and uh, now we are going to edit the data so let's go to our vs code editor and let's go to our file resource views admin so inside admin about us blade file is there okay done so guys now this is the simple table where we have done it and this is the edit button right so this is the edit button and now we have to create a url link of which we will take the id first okay so let's type the url url where i'm going to tell is this about us forward slash dot dollar data of with id okay done this is the id guys and now when i click this it should show me the in the url about us slash id okay so let us reload the page and let's click on edit button so it should go with the id 1 or when i click 2 2 it should go so let's click on 2 and it is coming perfectly that 2 and about us url okay so guys now let's set the route so let's get back so let's go to our routes web.php done and this is the about us controller so let us type route where i'm going to get the data so get and type your url first forward slash about hyphen us forward slash in the brackets curly braces that is id and then give comma and call your controller so my controller name is inside app http controller inside admin folder i have about us controller so inside admin folder backslash about us controller so at what i'm going to do tell this as edit okay so this edit function will create uh, inside the about us controller so let's click on about us and let us create create a function public function public function edit okay this edit is nothing but the route this is the copy this okay copy and control v over it done so guys now make sure see here so you are passing an id so get this id in the function that is dollar id and with this id i am going to fetch the data of that particular id okay of the about us crud so when i get this first id i should get the title subtitle description okay so let us get that so um, my model name is first let us create a variable okay so about us is equal to where i will call my about model where i will find the or fail by id okay so you have to call the dollar id and let's return return view to some page and show it okay so before this um, let us tell inside where i'm going to show inside admin folder i'll create a about us edit okay about us edit page right so guys before that 
mm, let me create one about us folder and inside that I will mention edit right so let's let us go and inside admin folder I am going to create one new folder called about click it and let us create a file inside this new file edit dot blade dot php file done so this is the file simple file let's get back to a controller so inside about folder I'm going to create edit file so you can see inside your resource views admin folder about folder your edit blade dot php file is called okay with the with the variables whatever you are getting this okay so about and copy this done right so you can view this and after this you are going to set the status for that is success message okay like you can create one more with and set the status 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 and data no not here okay we are going to just view this so we don't require any status over here so we are just going to view it right so let us return this first and check the value it is coming correct or not so before that I am going to return this so let's return and disable this comment this line and let's return it and see the value so guys now I'm going to click on edit first control R so you can reload the page and now click on edit so edit and the data has come perfectly okay so ID one about us title and this is the description created and updated so when you click on two or three so let us click on three id id three so it is coming the third data right so guys let us now create a page for this to view it okay so let us give control r so as in simple we are going to edit blade file and set the page however it is in the about us right for i mean to say in this format now i want inside this a form okay where if i click this edit all the data should come in a text box so let's st get started with it so as simple let us include the our extensions and section let us mention as about us edit and now let us copy this also and this section done so guys now let us view this output for simple view so guys I'll set up and I will show you one minute so guys it's set now just a simple row column card header okay so you can set this into a done and now I'm going to create a simple form where I can view the data okay so guys let us just create a simple form for this so we have used the form inside this well about us adding so we can take this form just copy this form and go on edit and just paste it done let's remove all the urls so let me arrange this so guys the form is set now and let's name this as update okay and now let us just give this remove this let's set one button or you can mention this as a tag okay so mention as a tag href where you can give a URL 
for cancel button that is the current page that is about and remove the unwanted things that's it and name this as back done so guys now let's view the output for this and see just click on edit and let us see the form yes guys so title subtitle and description is coming okay so now let us go back and it is perfectly coming back now guys I, if i click this edit button and insert the data should come of that particular id so guys now let's go to the code and get the data right so now you have to go to your controller and take the thing what is the error in this so guys let's view the output i don't know why this it's showing me a problem over here but i think it's a glitch in my vs code editor so just ignore that i can see in this routes too so i think it's a glitch so just ignore this part but uh, the code is uh, will be running fine okay so guys now let us take this variable and go to our edit page file and let us give a value where i'm going to edit into two curly braces and call the about us with the about us whatever the names are so it is title subtitle description so you can check in your um, database that is blog laravel so blog laravel about so inside about come on dude okay so title subtitle description three fields are there so let us enter title and let us copy this value and let us paste it just paste it done and let us call this as subtitle subtitle and the final one will be description okay and now let us view the output guys let's get back control r reload the page and let us edit the first data data edit and yes guys so data data about us about fund of web it the data have come but uh, description is missing so guys let us take that also and uh, yeah guys so this uh, in text area it doesn't take the value like this instead of value so in text area it takes the value inside this okay so open here and close the text area between that you have to paste your data so let us give control r and see the data yes guys so the data have come over here correctly okay so you can view it more bigger that is like give the rows r o w as rows of number six control r you can view it more size bigger size okay rows and columns was five so you can just increase the size by setting this okay so guys now in this video we have completed the editing part like we are getting the data and in next video we'll be learning about how to update the data okay so guys um thank you for watching this video please subscribe like and share and see you in the next video guys